Chastain. There we go. That's the way it goes sometimes. When you're at a Yola Tango Hanukkah show. Just flying by the seat of your pants. Oy vey. Am I right there? Man with a green mask has never had a sidekick. This is pretty fun. Don't you avert my gaze. Avert my gaze now. Good evening. I am the man in the green mask. I sure hope John Glazer's okay. Whatever that family emergency is. Sounds terrible. In any case, there's a lot of show left, so let's keep it moving. If you have never been to a Man in the Green Mask performance, I will tell you how it goes, a little syllabus before the show. There is an intro, which has come and gone. <laughs> there will be a joke, which is coming. <laughs> then a song, and then a Q&A. <laughs> Let's start with the joke. And this is uh, actually very special for me because it is about the man in the green mask's son, who actually happens to be here in the crowd tonight. This is a joke I've told many times, and it'll be the first time he hears it. And it is about him. Hopefully he will not feel too embarrassed. But that is, as maybe some of you would know, one of the joys of being a parent is thoroughly embarrassing your children. Any and every chance you get. This harkens back to when my son was probably four, maybe five. Could have been three. Very little. And I was in the shower and he was in the bathroom. And he saw me come out completely naked. And he said, Daddy, you have a penis. And I said, that's right. You have one too, just like Daddy's. And he said, it's so giant. <laughs> now, I am not telling this story as some cheap way to brag about the size of my member. I'll just say right now, full disclosure, it is not giant. Okay, that was coming from the eyes of a child. It's all perspective to him. It was giant, but it's not. It is not giant. It's pretty good, though. It is not bad. It gets er done. Actually, my, the man in the green mask's wife is here as well. <laughs> I'm sure they're both enjoying this story. <laughs> A.K.A. being thoroughly mortified. At the in any case, um, it was a very, very innocent, precious moment between father and son. And it sort of inspired me and gave me an idea for a television show very much along the lines of that very old show called Kids Say the Darkest Things, where uh, this host would have children on the show and they would just say, like, goofy kids things. I think they sort of are maybe doing a remake right now with Tiffany Haddish. In any case, my show is going to be called, and it's just going to be all stories my son says. It's going to be called My Son Says the Darkest Things dot, 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 about my dick. Yeah. 
just a 30 minute show about my son saying funny things about my dick. So, thank you, my son. That concludes the joke portion <laughs> of the Man in the Green Mask performance, and now we move on to the song. And this song was inspired by a fellow dad I saw walking around town. Sort of a shorter, squat gentleman with a very, very bushy Fu Manchu mustache. And he was walking with his child, and that made me think of a song. And it goes like this. Dad with the Fu Manchu, what you gonna do with your son today? Dad with the Fu Manchu, you look cool. <laughs> and that is the end of the song portion. And the very last performance. I brought a hot tea with me on the stage, and I'm very scared to take a sip, for I fear it will scald my tongue. I do not think it is ready. Did you just say it's ready? You know what? Someone in the front said it's ready. And then when I said, do you think it's ready? She said, I think it's ready. Let's give it a try. Now, if it's not, it's going to be spit. <laughs> all over the front. They, they gave you garbage bags, right? And said, man, you're your mask tonight. It's like, Gallagher, here's your mask. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh! Oh! You're right, it was right. <laughs> but that was pretty good fake pain, right? Pretty good. So now we've come to the Q&A portion of the evening. And I would like to be very clear about how this goes. By the way, a round of applause for the Man in the Green Mask's sidekick. This is the first time the Man in the Green Mask has performed with a sidekick who plays live. And hopefully not the last. What do you think, Ira? Speaking of the mic, yeah. Yeah. I'm Okay. Ivey. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw some of those in. Good tonica. So here's how the Q&A portion of the evening works. You can ask the man in the green mask any question you want, as long as it's about the mask. <laughs> and every question must be prefaced with man in the green mask, and then you ask your question. It's a simple sign of respect. If you do not preface your question with that, we will simply move on. It couldn't be more simple, more clear, and yet almost every time I do a show, some fucking asshole <laughs> manages to fuck it up. So I'll do my best. I, if I do this, I can see. Hold on, I appreciate that, but please raise your hands. You will be first, and I shall call on you, and you can ask whatever question you want of the man in the green mask. It must be about the mask. Don't forget the rule. Try to make it about Hanukkah as well. Here we go. Yes. Man in the green mask. Yes. Like Jam. Interesting. The question was, man in the green mask, how do you like to be jammed? A little bit of a pandering question for the person that's not here. And I'm assuming that was for John Glazer. I am not he. However, I will still answer the question. How do I like to be jammed? This could get very awkward. Does it become an the obvious sexual answer? Not with my son in the house. <laughs> Does it become emotional, psychological? Not to say I like going for a run. All right. Um, 
we probably got time for about 15 to 20 more questions. <laughs> Who's next? Yes, right here on the front. Man in the green mask. Yes. Were you wearing the green mask on the day your son saw you come out of the shower? Wow, this is a very good question. <laughs> very good question. The question was, were you wearing your green mask on the day your son saw you come out of the shower? <laughs> The answer, of course, is yes. I was wearing the green mask. On my dick! Fourteen more. Make them good. Don't be shy. Simply raise your hand and ask. And listen, if there's no more questions, I'll stand here in uh, silence for 14 minutes. Yes, in the back. Yes, sir. Yes. Is Green Mask your given name? Oh, interesting question. The question was, Man in the Green Mask, is Green Mask your given name? Um, you know, this is a really, uh, it's kind of a weird one for me to talk about. You know, I've got a pretty complicated family, family history. Uh, you know, a lot of, I'm sure you're all familiar with this nation's history, when a lot of people came through Ellis Island, they had to change their names. And that's the same for my family. Uh, I'm Italian, and the original last name was a green mask of Badule. <laughs> and when they said in customs, they were like, excuse me? And my great-great-grandfather said, a green mask of Badule. And they just said, it's a green mask, keep moving. <laughs> And that's how I got my last name. And my first name is Man and The. Last name is Green Mask. That always just seems obvious to me, but a lot of people don't know that. But that was a great question. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. The question is: Are you born with the green mask, or do you have to earn it? Listen, this whole answer could take three hours, but let me just try to reduce it if I can. It's a little bit of both. I was born with this mask on my face. Uh, or rather, it was inserted into my mother's body. <laughs> kind of. You know, when I, was a, I was a vaginal birth, as most uh, a Greek mask of Badule people are. And the mask was affixed right here. And as I came out, it came onto my face. And that's how I began my life. But every day, I have to earn it. So that that gesture was not in vain. And there are days when I take the mask off in private, when I know I haven't earned it. But that's basically how it went down. Yes, in the back, right there, yes. Man in the green mask. Yes. What would make you take your mask off? Ooh. The question was, what would make me take my mask off? Nothing. <laughs> It'll never come off. There's nothing in this world that would make me remove this mask. Except for maybe a cracking cold brewski. <laughs> if you think that's true, you're a fool. I do have an answer to give, but it's highly inappropriate. It involves murder. And again, with my son in the room, I hesitate. And I shouldn't. I want him to hear it. I want him to see what father does. How father pays the bills. Not that I'm making money tonight, but in general. What's the charity tonight, I read? Well, I'd like to know. 
what is it? Plant? Glad? Okay. I would take the mask off to earn a billion dollars for Glad. All right. How many more hands? I see one, two, three. Jesus, wow, maybe we'll be here. How about three more? Got time for that? Okay. Three more questions. Make them good. Uh, how about... Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to go with you, sir, because you're doing this. Everyone else is doing this. This guy's doing this. Yeah. What's that? Works every time. You know what? Shut up. You're done. <laughs> Not this time. Ow! That's rude. What's your question? It better be. And it better be a good one. Yes. Man in the green mask. What is your day job? I'm just trying to figure if this tea bag is even steeping. Ginger. Anyway. <laughs> Man in the green mask. What was that? Here we go. <laughs> he said, I stumped you, huh? <laughs> no. You did not stump me. You will never. that you would even think that you would. <laughs> you fool. Oh, you're doing a little shtick. This guy's got some shtick. Let me ask you, what do you do for your day job? The tables have been turned. I don't give a flying effect that you asked me first. I asked you a second. A retired social studies teacher. Interesting. And then he said, top of that. Well, I'll have you know that my day job is that of a high school social studies teacher. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Consider yourself a topped. Two more, yes, sir. Yes. Good question. Man of the green mask. How do you keep the mask in good condition? I have five million of them. And just like Jerry Lewis throws away a pair of underwear every day and never wears the same one, right? Isn't that a thing? That's what I do. <laughs> Last question. Who dares have the final question? Who has the guts? Let's go with this gentleman right there. Name in the green mask. Yes. Will your son someday wear the mask? Oh, we just ended on a good one. <laughs> The question was, man in the green mask, will your son one day wear the green mask? <sighs> well, just like a uh, grand mask of Athena, he'll have to earn it. And I'm just gonna, he doesn't have to uh, answer if he doesn't want. But I'll just say if he wants to, son, what do you think?
sidekick, Ira. Oh, hey, hey, what a sidekick. Enjoy the rest of your evening.